Here we have a free a cosine series of a piecewise function problem. And because the coefficients come out horribly, this question only wants you to calculate a1 and a2 rather than finding an in general. Uh, nonetheless, you want to solve this by uh, just starting with the formula for the, the coefficients, which is an equals to 2 over l, 0 to l, f of x cosine uh, n pi over l x dx. And uh, this l is where the function is defined. See, function is defined from 0 to 4. Therefore, you want to have l as 4. Uh, that's the only way you can use all the data from 0 to 4. Okay, So in our case, the value of l will be 4. And uh, 2 over 4 is 1 half. Uh, and we have to break up this integral from 0 to 2 and 2 to 4 because the definition of the function is different. From 0 to 2, the function is 3x. So you put 3x cosine n pi over 4 d, uh, 4x dx. And from 2 to 4, the function is 2. So you put 2 cosine n pi over 4 x dx. Now let's try to do the first integral uh, by using the tabular, tabular integration method. So put plus or minus d an integral. And you start with 3x, differentiate 3x, you get 3, differentiate 3, you get 0. And then uh, integral of cosine n pi over 4 x, when you integrate cosine you get sine, but the reciprocal of this number comes in front. Integrate again, integration of sine is negative cosine, but another reciprocal of this comes out, so you end up with 4 squared, which is 16, and uh, n squared pi squared, cosine n pi over 4x. And then you have plus minus plus where now you multiply like that so uh, the integral becomes this times this where 3 times 4 is 12 so you have 12x over n pi sine n pi over 4x and then the next one here negative times negative is positive 3 times 16 gives you um, 48 over n squared pi squared cosine n pi over 4 and for this you have to plug in 2 and 0 okay, so 2 goes in and then you subtract 0 plus uh, the other one if you integrate cosine that's sine and the reciprocal of this comes in front, so it's 2 times 4 over n pi sine n pi over 4 x, and to this you have to plug in 4 and 2. Okay, now before we move on to the next stage, let's just get rid of this 1 half. 12 divided by 1 half. 12 divided by 2 will be 6. 48 divided by 2 will be 24. And this 2 and 1 half will cancel. So we don't have to worry about this anymore. And then now let's plug in 2. What do you get? Uh, if I plug in 2, 2 times 6 is 12 n pi. And then you get sine n pi over 4 times 2. But 2 over 4 is 2. So you just have sine n pi over 2. And when you plug in 2 here, you get... 24 over n squared pi squared cosine n pi over 2. Now you have to subtract this this uh, 0. When you plug in 0 here, it's sine of 0 is 0. And uh, when you plug in 0 here, you get cosine 0 is 1. But when you plug this in, you have to subtract. The fundamental theorem of calculus says uh, you plug this in and this in. The two things has, has to be have to be subtracted, right? So 
you subtract 24 over n squared pi squared. And then uh, now you plug in 4, you have sine and pi, which is 0. When you plug in 2, 2 over 4, that's just 1 half. So you end up with uh, plus 4 over n pi sine n pi over 2. Oh, sorry. You have to do this minus this, right? So when, when 2 is plugged in, you have to subtract. So this has to be minus. Okay. So let's uh, tidy that up a little bit. And uh, we have the generic term for it. And we are going to select this much. And uh, let's now try to use this formula to calculate A1 and A2. First, for A1, a1, that means n is 1, so you have 12 1 times pi sine of 1 times pi over 2, 24, 1 squared times pi squared, cosine 1 pi over 2, minus 24, 1 squared pi squared, that's just pi squared, and then uh, minus 4 over 1 times pi, and that you have sine of pi over 2. And use the fact that sine of pi over 2 is 1, whereas cosine of pi over 2 is 0. So that these two, sine pi over 2, th those will be 1, whereas this one will be 0. So that's gone. Uh, so you have 12 over pi minus 24 over pi squared and then minus uh, 4 over pi. 12 minus 4 is 8, so you have 8 over pi minus 24 over pi squared. Okay, now do the same thing for a2. This time n becomes 2, so you have 12 over 2 pi sine of 2 over 2 cancel, so you just have sine of pi. 24 over 2 squared is 4, so you have 4 pi squared. You get cosine of uh, 2, 2 cancel, so you get uh, cosine pi minus 24 over n squared pi squared. And then, uh, actually this will be 4, right? And then uh, minus 4 over 2 times pi sine of pi. But this time sine pi is 0 and cosine pi is negative 1, so using this, you know that th these two go away and what's what's left is negative 24 over 4 pi squared minus 24 over 4 pi squared uh, 24 divided by 4 is 6 so you have negative 6 over pi squared and minus 6 over pi squared which combines to negative 12 over pi squared so that's it